Hey everybody, this is Andrew Kayser with CSSBoss.com and today we're going to be checking out how to make your WordPress accessible through your Android smartphone. Now I have here the Droid Razor Max. I've had it for a couple weeks now and I've been wanting to make this video. I just wanted to get home into my office before I did it. So here you go. You can see that I have the WordPress app installed and this is the Razor Droid Max. So what we're going to do and if you have an iPhone you know uh, I got a video coming up on that shortly if if I'm just click here you know if it's there it's there so okay what we got going on here is you have three options when you first start it up you can start a new blog at wordpress.com you can add a blog hosted at wordpress.com basically if you've already got one or you can insert your self hosted blog which is what we're going to do right here. I'm going to be setting this up on my website. So now it's going to ask for the blog URL, your username, and your password. I don't know if you can see that. Let's right there. So blog URL, account name, password, optional settings, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to go ahead and type this in real quick, cssboss.com, and then my username and password. Click save. Now what, what you're gonna see some kind of error pop up. So it says XML RPC fall XML RPC services are disabled on the site. An admin user can enable them at cssboss.com admin blah blah blah. Okay, so let's click OK. And now let's go up onto my website. We'll log into cssboss.com. Let that load up. Okay, so uh, going along here. Now, what we're going to come do is come down here to settings, and then we're going to come to writing. I believe. Now, right here, there's a remote publishing and you want to enable the WordPress movable type meta web blog and blogger XML RPC publishing protocols click on that you save your changes and now we're going to look back onto our phone here and we're going to click save again it's going to go into the account setup and we're basically just going to wait for it to see what happens you know this will be my first time logging into it so there we go now we can create a new post a new page a quick video quick photo we can view all of our pages so yeah we can um you know these are this is a list of all of my pages that I've come up with you know you can see some of the projects I'm working on with monitoring and my source code so let's uh let's see what we can do choose oh you can have multiple blogs that's kinda cool I don't know that must be create new page nope let's just add new anything so let's go to our dashboard you can check it out Pretty much the same thing, you know. My Google Analyticator plugin works. That's it's always a good thing. Pretty links, site stats. So you you have the full full WordPress admin dashboard right at your fingertips. Anywhere you go, you can go into your plugins. Oh, that's testimonials. Here's plugins. Come in here and activate and deactivate. I wonder what widgets look like. Let's see if we can um not sure not sure how to drag and drop widgets on here, but you know, I'm sure that'll be all worked out in the future. 
But if you guys have any questions and are receiving any errors on how to set that up, hit me up. And hopefully you guys are able to blog from your cell phone now. Thanks a lot for watching. Indicators with CSSBoss.com. Peace out.